What's up guys, my name is Jellycut5 and welcome back to the episode of the Creator Club Career Mode. Off Coming off that, a uh, really, really exciting game against Coventry City. We had the first simulation game of the episode, a 3-1 win against Blackpool. Jovic, Vega getting two, getting the 3-1 win. With being the January transfer window and the hope that we're going to be promoted to the Premier League, I was looking at some pre-contract deals and one of them was Brandon Williams. 25 years of age, 76 rated and I feel like he can bring a lock to the side to be honest. It'll be the decision that I take to take Capozo or all rich to the big leagues I'm not too sure as of yet and I'll kind of decide that when we get to that point but I definitely want Brandon Williams in the team he comes with a high wage packet though that is for sure he wants a big old bonus as well we was left with a decent bit of budget in terms of being able to sell a few players from a large adjust so this is what it's paid for and then we have another simulation game against Coventry City with a 2-0 win but yeah really really happy to be able to get that over the line and being able to secure that and have him for a player of ours next season in terms of the lineup for a game in the FA Cup against Rotherham. As you can see, we've changed up massively. Vanizev in goal with a Glorain King partner with Capoz on the left, Arajo on the right, Alfonso and Artem partner with Vakatani just in front with Vega on the left, Solomon on the right, and Gabod is going to get a start up top. Obviously, he's very many rare appearances that he does get, so it's nice to see him being able to get the starting off, as you can see. But 10 minutes into the game, Green on the right hand side, he beats Capozo really well for pace, to be honest. He's got many red and white shirts there, one of them being Rathbone, but King gets intercepted there, but he puts it back onto Green. Green to Rathbone. Lovely bit of passing just on the edge of the area trying to see if they can seek a shot and they do exactly that as you can see. On to Gnome but you can see they just likes to block it but we just couldn't clear our lines whatsoever until we got to the part where we actually could. Alexis Vega makes the break and he puts it onto to who has got a decent bit of pace. He skips past Grant does so so well. A little bit of space is opened up. Heavy touch there. He hits it and what a goal that is from Gabo to get his first of the game. First for his FA Cup campaign. Brilliant scenes from the youngster and it's really really nice to see sometimes to be honest when he doesn't get a lot of game time. He's not exactly highly rated, but he definitely can put in a performance like that and get a lovely goal. One them up in this tie then. A good start to this game just inside 10 minutes. Lovely breakaway just on the counter attack. Nothing really happened to start off with, so this was the real first chance and it was taken absolutely perfectly, that is for sure. 30 minutes into the game. It's been a bit of a slow start to be honest. Apart from that first goal, nothing really to shout about, but Alexis Vega wins the ball in the middle of the park. He does really, really well to take it off the defender of Funga Bode in a decent bit of space. He's got a chance at goal. Just straight wide, didn't really connect with that one that well unfortunately and it does stray wide. Into the second half we go, a really really boring first half apart from that goal but as we try and get something going in the second half, Solomon finds Gabode in a lovely bit of space there, it opens up perfectly all he's got to do is score, hits it on his left, in it goes and it's now 2-0 up and it's now his second goal of the game also brilliant individual performance from him so far lovely pass from Solomon though, the gap opens up perfectly and he just seeks the pass and he just has to tap it in, it wasn't the best of connections with it, I feel like the keeper could have done slightly better when you see the replay the pass is absolutely sublime though as you can see but yeah the way he hits it, there's not really much power and precision, keeper could have done better but we would take that one, that is for sure 57 minutes into the game, Alexis Vega on the left hand side, he defines Alcatani in space he puts it onto Gabode, he turns the defender really really well and he's got a chance at goal as you can see and he just turns past the defence, he could have got his hat-trick there but Ford stopped him in his tracks and saved that initial shot. 77 minutes into the game, Rotherham haven't displayed any sort of attacking threat whatsoever and we've got a chance just in the left, last 10 minutes of the game. As you can see, Solomon on the right-hand side as he turns the defender, he puts it onto Gabode and a decent bit of space. He takes the shot and take your hat off for that one. Lovely goal from Joseph Gabode to get his third for the game. That will be his first match ball also. Brilliant scenes and what a way to finish it off in style there. A brilliant, brilliant goal and just lofts it over the keeper. It was a weirdly hit uh, kind of shot if more than anything there's no real power in it whatsoever it's more precision as you can see just lofts it with his right he kind of scoops under the ball and it just gets enough precision and direction to be able to leap it over the keeper he's badly positioned at the same time it goes top kick corner though and that will be that full-time whistle has been blown a 3-0 victory a lovely display from Joseph Abode and that will definitely be one to remember for himself but we are through to the next round of the FA Cup I'm pretty sure that's round four because we went straight into round three which was quite nice we haven't had to go through so many rounds at a certain point Another departure in the January transfer window. Kazmir Cech is on his way out. We started with him in the League 2 and League 1. He displayed some really, really good performances in all honesty. I think it was an aspect of where he was low rated. He was getting on to about 30 years of age now. So I don't feel like he was uh, very much surplus to requirements, I'd say. And he does go off. He did some really, really good kind of games for us, though. And we do have to kind of respect him for 
for that. He is out the door, but so is Tyler Blackett. He will stay for the rest of the season, but on the end of the season, he will go on a free. Another player that I was looking to ship off at any point. It's a shame that we didn't get any money for him, but I'm not too fast. But one that is going to pull some heartstrings, Ota is leaving the club then. He was absolutely phenomenal in League 2 and League 1. Carried us a lot of times, especially in League 2. Coming from Walsall, I think we played about 500,000 for him at the time. I think we sold him for about 725. We'll see in a second. But yeah, it was. It, he's been such a really big player for us. We changed him. Oh, 670, there you go. We changed him onto the left wing role to try and get some more game time in League 1, but it's not really worked out in the Championship with the pace of the game and the players that we now have are, are disposable. Another player on the exit, as you can see, Anderson, someone that we didn't really use on the right back role. Alvarez was really kind of the one where he was being played most, and Araujo, and he now is going to go off to Sheffield United. Joseph Hutchinson on a loan to Exeter City, but Anderson goes for a fee of 3.2 million, not too bad for someone that we picked up on a free, so we've made some decent profit from that, that is for sure. But with that money being kind of collected, we're going to try and go in for a centre midfielder now, Hannibal Medjury. This is a massive midfielder from Manchester United. I tried to sign him initially, but I just didn't have the funds, but this time round I do, and we should be able to get this one over the line. He's not asking for too much. I'm pretty sure his wage demands are going to be pretty high, but I'm not too fussed about that in all honesty, because I would like to get this over the line. He's 22 years of age. I'm pretty sure he's about 74 rated as it stands as of the moment. He's actually asking less than Brandon Williams did, so I can only assume that he's a little bit under the rating compared to what Williams is, but I'm quite happy to pay him around the 30,000 mark in all honesty. I didn't want to pay the bonus, so I wanted to bump the actual wage up itself to 40 and see if I'd get away with being able to try and see if I didn't have to pay the wage. Just trying to save as much money as we possibly can being left in with a million there. He wanted 270 on the wage and to be honest, we're going to take it. If he's happy to join and we can afford it, he is going to go through the doors and Hannibal Medry is our player for a sum of £4 million. Pound. A big, big prospect in the English football, that is for sure. Coming through the ranks at Manchester United, he's had some good spells at Birmingham City also, but it's nice to see him now. He is a blue and he's definitely going to be starting this game against Preston at North End at home then. Valizev in goal with Angola and King partner with Elrich on the left, Alvarez on the right. Almeida comes in and Medri makes his debut. Alcatani in the cam roll with Vega on the left. Jovic up top, he comes in for Gabode and Alvarado on the right hand side. Not too sure what to expect from Preston, in all honesty. I feel like we can get this one over the line and claim all three points pretty easily, but you never know what to expect in the Championship. That is for sure. 11 minutes into the game, Alvarado on the right-hand side. He skips past the defender there. He does so well to find Medjury. He's got his first chance at goal, and what a hit that would have been. Absolutely shakes the hell out of the bar. Unfortunately, didn't come to anything off the rebound. It was really unlucky to do so. I made it, couldn't get the shot off, but that would have been a lovely debut goal. That is for sure. 14 minutes into the game, Medjury is getting stuck in there, intercept shots flying absolutely everywhere definitely showing what he's got to offer as he intercepts the ball in a dangerous bit of the pitch there he puts it onto Alvarado who finds Alcatani Vega's in space for 1-0 there it is Alexis Vega makes it 1-0 for his side just put, putting it past the goalkeeper there to put his side in front just inside 14 minutes then a really really good display from us so far we've definitely made the quickest start of the two that is for sure Alexis Vega's definitely not missing that one he took his time with that though he knew the goalkeeper was going to go and try to go to the left just pokes it past on the right and that is now 1-0 but they get a dangerous free kick there we do make the block initially as you can see but they do follow it up there trying to see if they can get a shot off on goal but Valisa does collect that one he will take that all day that is for sure into the second half we go then not much happened in the first half apart from that as we try and see if Medri can get his debut goal and he's charging forward there he's got a chance on goal what a hit that is and another save from Woodman there keeping his side in the game and trying to see if they can claim at least a point in this game but it doesn't seem to be that way because 65 minutes into the game Alcatani is in on goal from an Alvarado pass. Woodman once again. Some saving heroics there. Brilliant save from Woodman. Keeping his side in the game. But it was a matter of time before we do get a goal. That is for sure. And as you can see, we lose the ball in our own uh, in their half. Sorry. But Akrim Afif comes off the pitch. Off the bench. And he picks it up. A lovely pass to Che Adams. He's off the bench. Also, Che Adams finds the back of the net to put his side two another head. And that's pretty much game set and match. 72 minutes into the game. I'm pretty sure Preston won't be coming back from that one. That is for sure. Che Adams coming off the bench to make a massive impact. Also, Akrim Afif coming off the bench to make a huge impact, getting the assist there. The two substitutes making the difference in this game in the late part of the second half. They get things restarted and we try and see if we can get a quick third. To be honest, it's always nice to try and catch them off the break. The restart seems to really, really kind of shuffle them up and keep them... And it seems to be that they're just caught lacking for whatever reason. Louis Barry come off the bench to put it onto Che Adams. It makes a lovely one too. Louis Marys makes a lovely run there. And what a pass it is from Alvarez. And what a finish that is 
assist from Louis Barry. 3-0 in this tie, 75 minutes gone. That should be pretty much it in all honesty. A lovely display from the team and an even better second half display compared to the first. It was absolutely sublime, the build-up there from the restart, as you can see. Just picks it so well. A lovely pass to Alvarez, but that loop over the top into the box just picks him out absolutely perfectly. The defender doesn't even know what to do in that scenario as the ball just floats onto his right foot and he hits it first time. No hesitating on the touch. Slides into the bottom corner to put his side 3-0 ahead then. Brilliant, brilliant goal. That is for sure. One for the record. But a lovely save from Valazev in the 86th minute to keep his clean cheek intact from a free kick there as they are going to get a corner. Are they going to try and get a late consolation goal? I, do, don't, I don't like it when they do. I'd love to keep a clean sheet. That is for sure. Whips it into the box and Brown is there. What a save that is from Valazev though. Collecting that one and putting it on to Arari. He's pretty much going to clear the lines. He's come off the bench also. So has Alfonso making a lot of changes in this game. Akrim Afif tries to make the run there, but it's nothing comes to it in the end. 89 minutes gone. Almeida's in the middle of the park as he finds Louis Barry. Could he get his second? His shot is blocked as it falls out to a man in red. And as you can see, Woodburn finds Holmes in a dangerous position on the left-hand side, but he can't really get going quick enough to make anything gone. Ledson in the middle of the park as he tries to get it onto his teammate. And he does really well to do so. And they've actually put the ball in the middle of the pitch really, really well. Valizev tries to get it out there, and he does well in the end. I actually thought he was going to get caught out, but he does collect the ball. And we're going to run down the clock now. Plus four on the clock, as you can see, and that's pretty much it as the wait for the full-time whistle to be blown. Clean sheet, all three points, three goals, and a brilliant display at home. That's what we like to see, that is for sure. Good individual displays from Barry. Akuma fifth coming off the bench also. Che Adams coming off the bench and getting a goal. Luka Jovic didn't seem too bad also. And Alexis Vega for sure as well. Decent performance in terms of his debut for Hannibal Medri. Obviously, he could have nearly got a goal, but it wasn't to be. But he's definitely got goals in him, that is for sure. But a really, really good display from the whole of the team as we go into the next game. And that would be Blackburn Ro Rovers away from home. As the lineup stands, Valizev in goal, Arari comes in with Leon King, Akaboza on the left, Alvarez on the right, with Alfonso and Medri also going to be partner in the midfield, trying to see how them two would partner up. Akrim Afif coming at Cam, he hasn't had many game time, that's for sure, so hopefully he makes a difference. Louis Barry comes in for the kind of low fitness, Vega, Che Adams up top, and Solomon on the right hand side, that should be it in terms of the actual um, game itself. I can't see Blackburn Rovers doing anything, but you say you never ever know, a big, big game in and we at Ewood Park. Hopefully we will get a result as Blackburn get things started off and they're trying to make a quick start, that is for sure. But Akrima Fifth tries to intercept there, but he's very unlucky in his attempt. As you can see, Sigerson on the left-hand side as he gets really, really good run past Alvarez. He uses his pace and strength to get past him. He's into the box here. King tries to intercept it. That looked like a penalty initially, but it's not going to be because it does fall to the actual Blackburn uh, striker, Ennis. And that is a goal. 1-0 then just inside two minutes and Blackburn Rovers has gone ahead. A brilliant, brilliant start to this game and um, for them but not for us unfortunately I did think like I was going to concede a penalty I would probably would have taken that to be honest because the other rebound was a goal sloppy defending from King I don't know where Al Rari was either and we've gone 1-0 down just inside two minutes a brilliant finish from Ennis as you can see this hits it with all sort of power hits onto the port post and in as we try and get things started off the restart and it's been a very poor first five minutes that is for sure Capose on the left hand side he's got his teammate Louis Barry there he takes the touch and turns he tries to get it past Britain he does so well to do so. Decent pass on to Che Adams who's got the goal in front of him. Could it be 1-1? Yes it is. He picks that ball up and a brilliant start in this first five minutes in terms of a neutral's point of view but at least we are now back into the game and we are level. A lovely bit of individual brilliance from Louis Barry to get into that sort of position. Che was in a decent bit of space and he found him so well and he just hits that perfectly and it is now 1-1 as Blackburn get things started off once again but Alfonso intercepts in a dangerous bit of the park as Louis Barry's making the run. Che Adams now on the ball as Che puts it onto Louis Barry. Louis Barry on the left hand side could he find his teammate and yellow I'm not too sure as the ball gets intercepted and it is literally head or tail of what could happen as of the moment it's a game of chess going back and forth just inside these first 10 minutes a hectic start that is for sure but Barry makes a lovely interception advantage played for whatever reason no way that was a foul as you can see Blackburn still have the ball and just fighting for it chasing every single ball a misplaced pass to Akarima fifth though and he runs past the defender this could be a big mistake from Blackburn and yes it is it's a goal to JD Cook FC 2-1 away from home Akarima a fifth wheels away in celebration in front of the travelling fans a brilliant interception there a poor misplaced pass from the Blackburn defender but a fifth makes the most of that and he puts his side just in front for the first time and this has been a hectic start to this game that is for sure a cream of fifth hasn't had much game time so this could be the turn for him I'm not too sure if it will be but it would be nice to see that is for sure 12 minutes into the game as they get things restarted the Tiggerson on the left hand side and you can see they're just passing it around trying to see if they're getting in road to the front they does so well 
to do the Solomon there on the right hand side and then driving on the left hand side is trying to see if they can do anything in this game to get back into it 40 minutes gone they're driving into the box and not many blue and white shirts there as we're trying to intercept it we can't do that Alvarez makes a foul and it is going to be a penalty kick then to Blackburn he has pointed to the spot I thought the initial first one in the first five minutes was going to be a penalty but no this one is I wasn't too sure what actually happened in the meantime but Alvarez does stick a foot out and it is a penalty and the referee rightly points to the spot and that is going to be a penalty kick then as they step it up trying to see if they can get back into the game Sigerson to take is Valizev going to save it no he's not he's been sent to the wrong side and Sigerson picks up that ball once again and inside 20 minutes there's been four goals already a massive game this has been so far brilliantly well taken penalty just slots it on there sends it in the wrong way and that was that off the restart then are we going to get another goal it's been literally back and forth the restarts have been really kind to us so far can they be again as Louis Barry tries to beat the defender he doesn't do this time round but as you can see we're just chasing the ball trying to see if we can intercept it in a dangerous bit of the park Medry does exactly that sticking a foot out and he does so well to put it onto Solomon Che Adams is there also as Solomon drives on the right hand side could he cross it into the box could he drag it back and find the pass he does find the pass he puts it onto Medry takes the shot and gets blocked onto Afif what a goal that is on the volley and it is now 3-2 just in inside 20 minutes five goals as it stands so far and Akrim Afif has got his second of the game a brilliantly well taken volley there there was no getting to that whatsoever Medri was unlucky to get that one blocked so I would have thought that would have gone in to be honest but Afif gets the follow up there keeper couldn't really get anything to that not even a fingertip and it nestles into the back of the net to make it 3-2 and again something happens off the restart it is absolutely hectic stuff so far as you can see Six on the left hand side has been played in really really well so far and he's been really good for them and he tries to drive it into the middle of the park and he's just pushing everyone off so far as Ennis and it could be 3-3, free, free. it's the post it falls out to Afonso and we're going to clear our lines but that was very, very lucky that could have been 3-3 free, free just inside 25 minutes it wasn't to be for the side but as you can see we're charging up the other end of the field Louis Barry tries to put it onto Afif he does exactly that Afif for his hat trick yes it is he's beat the keeper he's got his hat trick just inside 26 minutes and that was a brilliant brilliant individual bit of brilliance there a lovely stuff from Akrima Fifth, and he's definitely back and better than ever with getting a hat trick there on his start a lovely goal from Afif to turning past the defender to slotting it he kind of aligns his body to be able to kind of get that position on goal and it is now 4-2 in this game unbelievable stuff I definitely didn't expect this going into this game that is for sure 27 minutes into the game just after that goal Hedges on the right hand side has a misplaced pass Alfonso intercepts Louis Barry on the left hand side has been so pivotal so far as Afif has found a decent bit of space but he does get the ball lost and unfortunately for them but we do pick it up once again but Alfonso gets the tackle there advantage being played Blackburn charge forward Hedges on the right hand side could he be the difference and get them back into this game as he tries to find his teammate Britton he does exactly that whips into the ball Valizev saves can we clear yes we can King he does intercept but he can't get it any further Buckley what a save that is from Valizev there a really really bit of man this there so far I mean just unbelievable corner kick then Hedges whips it in Sigerson's trying to meet it not to be as our fifth picks up the pieces from the loose corner lovely bit of skill to lob it over the player and the attack is started now Louis Barron left hand side as Chadams puts him in there Louis Barry takes a heavy touch but he's one on one with the keeper it should be it yes it is it finesse into the bottom corner 5-2 then and that is pretty much game set and match as Louis Barry wills away in celebration well deserved though to be honest he's been absolutely the heart of everything in terms of the creative style on the pitch but this time he is awarded with a goal a lovely counter attacking bit but once again it stemmed from Akrima fifth that lob over the attacker there just really kick started it off and the attack was just too quick for Blackburn and that should pretty much be it but second half as you can see 57 minutes gone will it live up to the first half I'm not too sure it will to be honest but we will go again and see as you can see we intercept the ball but we lose it once again Britton on the right hand side he puts it onto his teammate Travis Britton trying to charge forward are they going to get a goal and see if they can get some sort of comeback oh, I'm not too sure but they're going to try it though Hedges on the right hand side he tries to beat Alrari but it's not to be as Alrari makes a misplaced pass Hedges picks it up it's onto Ennis Ennis got a chance onto Trostar and it is a goal for Blackburn then and to be honest that was a really really sloppy bit of play Arari not clearing his lines if he were to then we wouldn't be seeing what we're seeing on our screens right now and it is now 5-3 so there's only a two goal deficit there's still plenty of time for Blackburn though that is for sure as we make some substitutions in this game Vega's going to come on for Louis Barry brilliant display from Louis and we're going to put on al Katani for the hat-trick here at Akrima fifth and Almeida is going to come on for Hannibal Medri 68 minutes into the game Alfonso intercepts from a free kick and he puts 
puts it onto his teammates really well. Solomon on the right-hand side makes a 1-2 with Che Adams. Che can see in there in a decent bit of space. Lovely ball onto Solomon also as he tries to see if he can get past the defence. And he does that onto Almeida. Vega, what an impact that is off the bench. 6-3 it's going to be then. And this is turning into an absolute cricket store so far. 20 minutes left of this tie. And it's now 6-3. Nine goals in the tie. Alexis Vega coming off the bench to make the impact and get a lovely goal. Very similar to the one against Preston in honesty. Just takes his time. He knows where to put it. Solomon does well to put it onto Almeida and Almeida finds Vega in a decent bit of space and he just slots it on his right into the bottom corner it went then as they get things restarted once again Alcatani makes a lovely interception though he's fresh off the bench and he does so well to skip past the defence his absolute breeze Alcatani I mean take a bow 7-3 it is then straight off the restart he just intercepts they get stuck in the defence is just caught lacking there's no catching up to Alcatani whatsoever he is fresh and fit and he puts it into the bottom corner to make it 7 free unbelievable stuff I didn't expect that that is for sure 85 minutes into the game Trostal is on the ball as he finds his teammate Costello Costello's trying to drive forward and put it on to Ennis if they're going to score it's going to be a consolation as you can see they're driving forward Costello on the right hand side they put it into the box Sigerson's there what a save that is from Valis he hasn't made many big, big save in this game so far but that is definitely one of them that is for sure 89 minutes into the game it's all Blackburn after since that Alcatani goal I'm not too sure why they couldn't pick it up previous to that but Valisdev makes another big save putting it out for a corner kick and that was pretty much it full time whistle has been blown at Ewood Park and we walk away with all three points 10 goal thriller unbelievable stuff and that's one thing you normally don't see that is for sure but we will take that though that is for sure and we charge on in our championship campaign we just can't lose. We just can't lose. It's, it's been so refreshing to see, though, in all sort of aspects. We've been putting some top, top performances in. And I feel like these couple of signings with Brandon Williams coming in into the next season. And we've already got Hannibal Medry. I feel like this is going to make the big, big difference. That is for sure. And the big difference is shown because you can see on the table. Play 28. We've won 26. We've drawn two. And we're sitting on 80 points currently. And we are absolutely flying. It's unbelievable stuff so far. There's no way anyone's going to catch us up. Surely we can't let this go we're still unbeaten absolutely unbelievable stuff but we will take it though that is for sure but i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode please like and subscribe for more content just like this one if you've missed any kind of content in terms of my career modes they're all in my playlist in my channel you can see all of them from one to i think we're 28 now i'm pretty sure but yeah please like and subscribe for more content just like this one and don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video cheers Thank <laughs> you.